Well, today is day two in New York. Here with Brittany, looking like what? What queen? Your, what's your queen name gonna be? I am Queen Patrice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> In our little house on the prairie. You're That's not. my theme today. Her theme is queen. Mine I is little house on the prairie. Princess from Wakanda. Oh, good. Coming. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Coming to New York to slay and sip and sip and slay. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that what it's called? Sip and slay. You did sip, sip and slay. Sip and slay brunch. So, yeah. We out here. And we ready. And we keep. <laughs> that always helps. Yes. It always helps. Now let me get my so, yeah. ready for that. Okay. But okay. I took okay. my. Okay. okay. I hate that. I hate that? it with a passion. When they do that, I hate it. <laughs> but I did my fro today instead of my slick back. I had to water it down to get these curls. Bye. Hopefully, y'all are going doing all right. I think today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. This girl right here, she got some new rings, and she keep bothering them in this car. I don't want chunky chunky and little little. You want the mix, okay? So I'm trying to change it, but the fingers don't work. They're not matching up, so I'm trying to get it right anyway. It's all about the, the connection, the contrast theory. Oh, that's not my page no more, but... Follow Modest House if you want interior decorating. But follow my Instagram. It's Brittany Patrice. No eyes. B R I. Oh. I just you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to call. Spell my name. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's at B R T T N E Y P A T R C E. Follow me. <laughs> this right here. <laughs> She's is a character. A I'm not a hater, but this is what she's been doing this whole time. Y'all get what I'm saying though about the ring? No, and then she'll switch it, and then she'll switch it right back, and then switch it, and then switch it right back, and then say, you know what? I, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let me see this. She's a hater. She don't be trying to get my good oh. angles either. <laughs> um, y'all see what I'm saying though? You gotta get not too chunky and then two skinnies. I mean, it looks fine. I guess I'll leave it, but. No. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what I was saying. Right. Exactly what I was saying. Right there. My head is so I big. look fat from this angle. I don't oh, like no this angle boo. from me either. Mm-mm. Here you go. Camera oh, man. no. She had me looking like a big old chunky monkey. I look like a beluga whale. This part still wet, but everything else didn't dry. It's really pretty. Your hair grew fast. You said what? Your hair grew fast. Yeah. So, yeah. Today is a good day, a great day. So, yeah. We are excited. She got her curls popping today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll pick y'all up whenever we get to the place.
hope y'all can hear me, but so far, this is what I have. It's chicken and waffles. I've been eating, and these fries are like super duper good, and then I have mimosas. So, yeah. Really, really yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The chicken has an interesting taste, but it's still good. So, yeah. And this place is called The Malt House.
especially as women of color, like I come from Haiti and I know my parents didn't want me to have like the traditional <laughs> <laughs> have, like the traditional like Haitian and business and like, doctor life. So my sister was just like, oh, no, that's not what we like. So we decided it's just a like, creative platform and just show women that yes, you can do it all and it's not of course. Yes. 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 Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm also Haitian, that's why I'm like <laughs> um, My name is Mikaela and I have my, I guess a one woman show platform, MikaelaVagian.com and um, I'm also a beauty and style blogger and for the past few months I've also been collaborating with people such as Aisha and other bloggers that I know to create really great content that can inspire Bye. such women as Yay! Yes. Okay, style girl. Yeah. I love all girl styles. You guys are so colorful, beautiful, like all summer. So I'm the last one. My name is Aisha. I'm West African. Woo! The only way that you can do that outside of yourself and your day-to-day -day job is through investing. And investing isn't just like in the stock market, bonds, whatever, but it's also investing in yourselves, right? Because I see a lot of people that are trying to start businesses and like with me starting my own business and all of these young women that are starting their businesses as well, it's like, you're going to pass that down. So it doesn't just end with you. It's being able to take the finances, the whatever amount of money that you're making today, Funnel that into your business, but then pass that down to your children, pass that down to whoever. And it's like, allow that to really, really flourish and make your money work for you. Because it's not just about, like, we don't want to work for someone for the rest of our lives, because that's not my goal, right? No, my parents, my parents were never the, we're going to work for a business for the rest of our lives kind of people. We ultimately want to own our own and create our own content. So with the thought process of creating your own content, it's being able to create that content, invest in your business, invest in the market as well, but then really, really cultivate yourself as an individual. So I feel like whenever I post things about investing in yourself and then like investing in the stock market and just that culmination of just the investing, it's like planting a tree, right? You put it in and when I put that out, the, world, the universe kind of like reciprocates and responds to all the things that I put out. So I think that's my main kind of content. Um, on the note of collaboration, um, the photos that have all of us in it, so we post, we'll do double shots, we'll do stuff like around our house and things of that nature, but when you see all four of us in a photo, y'all just be like, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so all of the posts with all four of us, and then we do every morning, um, Monday through Friday, we do what's called a fortress score. Yeah. And so these are... <laughs> news that we've pulled, whether that be beauty, politics, um, anything, but that really cater to women of color. We try to break it down in a way that um, you guys can all receive your news, um, but at the same time that it's something that you actually want to hear. So while you're going into work, um, obviously you still do your podcast and your New York Times, but feel free to look at our Fortress 4. It's on our stories, and there'll be four tips for you to kind of get going for your day, and so you can walk into the office and feel like you know what's going on in the world. So yes. those do pretty well, too. Yes. Okay, so, um, <laughs> um, so I think for us, um, my sister, sadly, she's gonna be here. But it's content that's vulnerable. Because you know, um, like I feel like we're all going through the same thing at the same time. Like a lot of people don't like talking about it, and yeah. sometimes like it's hard. Like you don't want to put your business out there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> so just like you know, like, we try to like give people tips to just like be like the best version of themselves. Like, like you, you see all of you here, like you're here to like mingle and just like, you know, she, like portray that sisterhood. So like that's really what, what we try to do. Like, it's not easy, you know, like everyone can have a slice of the pie. You just gotta share the wealth and just, you know, like talk, 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 talk to your girlfriend. Like, ask her what she's up to, like what she needs help with. So like that's the type of content that we want to, um, you know, create. 
I would say for me, I create all different types of content from like beauty, hair, um, fashion. But similar to what you said, vulnerability is very um, important, and I kind of like developed that kind of like not being scared to show the, the real you. I'm not originally from New York, and I would say like New York is a it's a beast. Like it's so hard sometimes to really just like do what you want to do, make money from what you really want to do, mm -hmm. and actually live, like live an honest, true life. So I feel like I kind of battle with that, and I just show that. I sh I post it in my captions, I show it in like through my style. I really just develop a, just like, I don't care, but I hope you care, but I hope you don't <laughs> care too much. <laughs> Because I feel like we all kind of, we have to care about our lives, we have to care about other people, but just like kind of like letting go and letting yourself be who you truly want to be is what I feel like does really well. Because my quotes vary, I'm always doing something. And then you dance <laughs> on yes, top of it. Yes, I dance. Yes, check out dance video. Yes. Yes. That's how she found me, but I haven't danced in a while. Um, I've really been focusing on creating more like. Just like stuff, because I've always loved magazines, I started creating more um, editorial stuff and I'm really focusing on that and I feel like people see, people like that because it's not something that they see all the time. Mm. So that has been doing very well. Um, and that's really important to me, which is why I'm not dancing, but I will be dancing again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And for me, um, I noticed that the content that gets the most engagement on my page is when my hair is out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Everybody loves big hair and I noticed that a lot of women online they love to engage with me when my hair is out and I think that is because as women we were always told as black women we were always told that our hair is ugly it's not uh, professional it's too kinky or it's too this it's too that and nowadays when you see someone on the internet and they're flaunting their big curly kinky wavy hair whatever it is it's like, yes, more power to you, girl. Like, I wish I could do that. Because I didn't do that back in the day. I would always hide my hair, wear it in a bun, or just, you know, tuck it away. And now it's like, when I put it out there, people love it. And I think people can relate to that. And they want to be able to do the same. So, yeah. Thanks. And then, interesting question. I actually have for all of you, too, as well. What would you do differently if you were entering your industry now? What would you wish you would have known? <laughs> specifically uh, put more stress on the mentor and just mentorship in general. Um, I think we try to maneuver this industry on our own way too often and we think we have all the answers and we don't. Um, so for me, if I could have someone there, and even still now, if anybody wants to be my mentor, like hit me up. I am, I would love to come in to the industry with somebody who is not only there to show me the sets but actually be an advocate for me because yes. you could have somebody in there that's like oh she's capable of doing this but if you don't have someone that's really like at the table and mm. vouching for you then you won't get as far even if you are capable of doing it so mm. i would try to have more of a mentor in, in the industry yeah i definitely agree i think like collaborating with more people that's definitely like something like that we like we probably would like do if we had to start over because like it could be like collaborating with like photographers like, you should content for each other and then like he gets the content and you get the photos or like it could be like collaborating with bloggers like we take each other's photos but also one of the things um that i would do again is like have the business mindset early like that's that's definitely like something yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about this earlier and it was like it's like when we first got our first W9, we're like, damn, like, mm -hmm. I can make a business out of that. Like that's yeah. gonna show my taxes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, definitely like, you know, have the mindset early so you can just like like you know, reap the prof profits now. But it's a learning curve, so yeah. Yeah, I would say I agree with both of them. Um for me, I would say like just recognizing yourself as a brand early on. Yes. Like, not, like for me, I, I really started because I wanted to create a name for myself. I want to inspire people. I want to show my style, like, yay. And then, like, you get your first W9, you're like, hold on, what? Oh, you really got oh, a for something? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm actually something, like, I'm a brand. So I would say, like, just recognizing that you're a brand early on is something. I guess coming in with the confidence. Like, I feel like all the women here are here for a reason we're all pretty confident yeah. and we have more we have so many people that we can kind of look at 
rather than when we started. There were people there, yeah. but like now it's like you really have people that started from the bottom to up, and yeah, just recognizing yourself as a brand is very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, we were. Same yeah. thing. Yeah, we were. We were talking about this upstairs. It's like I wish I would have taken myself more serious yes. in the beginning, mm -hmm. because when you start out, it's like, oh hey, I'm cute. Fine. I take a picture on Instagram, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But you don't. You never really realize who's watching your pictures on Instagram. Mm -hmm. These brands are watching you, and you won't know until you get that email and they say, hey, we've been watching you for six months. And you're like, what? what? Yeah. What did I post all this time, you know? So I wish I would have known and taken myself more seriously. And I think if I had known beforehand, I would have taken myself as a brand because in the end, when brands reach out to you, they, they see want. you as a brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They reach out to you as a brand. They say, we want to work with you. We want you for a reason. Yeah. So I think if you know that from the start, you'll, you'll get ahead way faster. So for me, I think it would have been taking the risks early on, right? And I think my path was a little different because I did what was comfortable, right? And typically, we listen to our family. I come from an African household as well. It's like, you're not a doctor, you're not a lawyer, you're not a whatever. It's like, okay, but so I would have took my risks straight on. Like graduating college, I would have followed my passions right away versus me spending a year somewhere I didn't even be. And then that made me change. Oh. thrift store <laughs> find a whole thrift store Thank you. 
No. Okay, so I have 45 minutes to shop. So that means I need to hurry up, get up with y'all, and then I'll show y'all what I get later on. Is they got an ice cream truck coming this late at night, bro. It's creepy. That's creepy. Super creepy. I just got back, wiped this makeup off my face. <sighs> my face feels so fresh. Well, it ain't fresh yet because I gotta wash it, wash it. I can't wait to get my skin in order because it just started just acting up and it kept acting up. I don't understand it, but. Yeah, this is the end of tonight.